Hey, everybody, I'm John Granato. That's Lance Zerline. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5 every morning. Uh, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, hit subscribe right now so you get all of our content at SportsMap HOU. And if you're looking for Texans content, get to SportsMap Texans and subscribe there. SportsMap Texans, at SportsMap Texans, and hit subscribe. A lot of issues have plagued uh, the Astros this season, and they were all on full display uh, on Monday night when they lost to the Orioles where uh, Presley gave up the three runs in the ninth inning, Lance. When handing out blame for the Astros this season, where we are currently, what percentage of it goes to injuries, guys underperforming, and Dusty's decisions? Mm. I think I think it's pitchers underperforming specifically. Uh, bullpen was a massive issue the first half of the year. Uh, there have been some flare-ups here recently, again, which has been a concern, but I think primarily – you point to the starting pitching. The starting pitching has been nowhere near playoff caliber, to be honest with you. And, you know, you get Justin Verlander back, not the same Verlander you had last year, but you'll take it. I almost wonder where you'd be without Verlander right now if you hadn't made the trade for Verlander. I don't think you'd be in first place. And it's not like Verlander's been great, but he's been average Mm -hmm. at least, and that's something you could really use. So to me, John, Ahead of Dusty's decision-making and all that, I think the pitching not being able to get right for the whole year, it hasn't been just it hasn't been just Javier and Hunter Brown have had issues during a stretch. It's been the year. Yeah, no, it has been. But you got injuries there, too. you got Garcia and McCullers out, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, you've had you've had uh, Urquidy. I mean, all of these things have been – But your the, depth is rare, though. You have rare depth. You still should be winning. Yeah, you no, you, re, you really do. They haven't – but you've, you've depended on – if I remember, there was a point in the season when you had 40% of your pitching was by rookies, and that yeah. was late into the season. So you have had to depend on young guys, young guys who now have never pitched as much as they have. Uh, the injuries are certainly a huge part. Listen, Altuve was gone for a long time. Alvar, uh, 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 Alvarez was gone for a long time. But the hitting has been really inconsistent. I think we're, we're not putting enough emphasis on that is how up and down the hitting has been. And then Dusty's been a topic of conversation that we'll talk more about in just a second. But right now, we got to talk about Coors Light. Cold, clean, crisp, refreshing Coors Light. It is the world's most refreshing beer. I love me some Coors Light. You will love you some Coors, Coors Light. Keep Texas chill. All summer long, I kept Texas chill. And now in the fall, we're going to have to keep Texas chill as well because it's still going to be hot. So I need you to keep Texas chill with cold, clean, crisp, refreshing Coors Light. A lot of people have been calling for Dusty's head all season long. But does it, it, does a new manager fix what's been wrong with this Astros team? Oh, no, I'm removing Dusty Baker doesn't fix the pitching issues that I talked about. <clears throat> that may require a change of pitching coaches. I mean, if you can't get this thing fixed, this is big. You've got money guaranteed to Christian Javier moving forward. Hunter Brown is one of your pitchers of the future. This must get fixed. And so they've got to figure out how to do that. And I don't see how that has anything to do with Dusty. So, no, I think those issues will continue to be a problem. No matter who the the, the manager is, you're going to have ups and downs from a hitting standpoint. But the Astros offense has come around. And it's been another – it's been a – it's uh, – Pena has really come around second half of the season. Altuve's having one of his better years in recent memory. Uh, Tucker's having a good year. Jordan a good year. You just have to keep him healthy. I don't think a new manager changes anything other than the lineups become more static. Yeah. And that'll be a welcome change if that happens. Listen, he's supposed to put the guys in the best position to win, but he's also got a 162-game season. I don't think it's an easy job. I think managers get way too much credit and way too much blame. Uh, but Dusty has been too inconsistent this season. I, th- I think that. I don't know that another manager – uh, would solve the problems that they would be, that they've been having, but it's certainly I think uh, I, I think that uh, a, a more static lineup, like you said, and playing the best guys more, just playing the best guys more, gives you a better opportunity to win. And I think that's what would happen. That's what will probably happen this off season because I don't know that the front office can, can doesn't hear because it, it, it there's a roar out there for Dusty's head, and I think this is probably his last season. 